the total income is nothing but the profit so therefore the profit p is equal to 3x plus 5i plus 4z since our intention is to maximize the profit therefore the objective function here is the maximum p subjected to the constraint for weaving this is 3x 4y 3z again this is 2x 1y 3z again this is x y and z Hello dear students welcome to this session of operation research class over class i am mr niranjan faculty department of computer science vidyashram first grade college the temple of excellence in my previous class we have discussed regarding the formation of linear programming problem today in this session also i am going to discuss regarding the formation of a linear programming problem i will take few more examples now let us come to the first problem What is the problem here? Th these are all very important problem for uh, seven marks. You may expect one question from this for seven marks or eight marks. Now the first problem is a firm can produce three types of clocks. How many types of clocks? There are three types of clocks. What are the types of clocks? Clocks A, B, and C. So three kinds of wool, three kinds of material. That is the wool are required for it. So a company will produce three types of clocks A, B, and C. three types of materials also required that is the wool three kinds of wool are required for it say the colors are red green and blue wool the, so there are three colors of uh, wool that is red green and blue so red green and blue wool one unit of length of type a cloth needs 2 meter of red wool 3 meters of blue and one unit of uh, length of type b cloth needs 3 meters of red wool 2 meters of green wool and 2 uh, meters of blue wool and one unit of type c cloth needs 5 meters of green and 4 meters of blue the firm has only a stock of 8 meters of 8 meters of red wool the maximum wool of red is 8 and 10 meters of green and 15 meters of uh, blue wool are available it is assumed that the income obtained from one unit length of type a cloth is rupees 3 and type b cloth is rupees 5 and type c cloth is 4 rupees 4 so here again the income income is nothing but our objective function is to maximize this is a maximization problem again so determine how should use the available materials to as to maximize the income from the finished cloth so for this we are going to form an lpp model so let us prepare an lpp model so what is the problem given a company they, a firm produces three types of cloths a b and c there are three types of cloths a b and c the three kinds of wool are required for it so the three different kinds of uh, colors are red green and blue and the length of length of type a cloth needs 2 meters of red wool and 3 meters of blue green is not given one unit of length of type b cloth needs 3 meters of red 2 meters of green and 2 uh, meters of blue is given and one unit of uh, type c cloth needs 5 meters of green and 4 meters of blue the firm has only a stock of the stock of uh, 8 meters of red 10 meters of green and 15 meters of uh, blue wool is is available so it is assumed that the income what is the income the income on type a is rupees 3 type b is rupees 5 and type c is 4 if such is the case formulate an lpp to get the maximum profit now let us define the decision variables as a x y and z now let us put this in the form of a table let us construct a table for this now the table quality of wool so the quality of wool are red green and blue and the type of cloths what are the type of cloths there is three types of cloths that is a b and c what is a a b and c are nothing but the types of cloths now the total quality quantity of the wool available so red is 8 and the green is 10 and the blue is equal to 15 this is the availability now 
What is the income per unit length of A is rupees 3, for B it is rupees 5, and for C it is rupees 4. Now put it in the form of a table. So the type of cloth, there are T type of cloth. Let us uh, define the decision variables as, let us define the decision variables as X, Y, and Z. So X, Y, and Z are the decision variables. Now, there are three types of cloths, that is colors, red, green, and blue. And the availability is, the, the maximum availability of the wool for red is 8, for green it is 10, and for blue it is 15. And the profit after sale, for the profit for the sale is rupees 3, rupees 5, and rupees 4 for the product A, B, and C respectively. Now, let us start. Now let us define the objective function, define the decision variables as x, y and z. What is the intention is to get the maximum profit, therefore the profit is given by profit P is equal to. So what is the profit on selling product A is 3, so this is 3x plus on, on selling product B is 5y and on selling the product C is 4z. Now what is the intention? to get the maximum project. So therefore, our objective function, the objective function is maximum P, max P is equal to, the objective function is maximum P is equal to 3x plus 5y plus 4z. This is the maximum, that's it. And remaining subjected to the constraints, use the constraint and formulate in the mathematical forum, that's it. Hope you followed this. Listen, I will explain. Let us define the decision variables as x, y, z. These are the decision variables as x, y, and z for the for the types of the cloth A, B, and C. So x, y, z are the decision variable for the cloths A, B, and C type. The total income of the finished cloth is nothing but the total income is nothing but the profit. So therefore, the profit P is equal to 3x plus 5y plus 4z. Since our intention is to maximize the profit, therefore the objective function here is the maximum P, the max P is equal to 3x plus 5y plus 4z, subjected to the constraints. What are the constraints here? Subjected to the constraints for the red, for the red, quality of, of wool for the red. So what is the maximum availability is 8. So therefore this can be put in the mathematical forum. Just right away put x, y, z, that's it. 2x plus 3y plus 0z is less than or equal to 8. Second, for green, this is 0x plus 2y plus 5z is less than or equal to 10. For uh, blue color, it is 3x plus 2y plus 4z is less than or equal to 15. Subjected to the non-negative restrictions, x is greater than or equal to 0, y is greater than or equal to 0, and z is greater than or equal to 0. That's it. Now let us put it in the form of a mathematical equation. I'll go to the next page. The subjected to the constraints, constraints, subjected to constraints. First one, for red wool it is 2x plus 3y plus 0z is less than or equal to 8. That is 2x plus 3y is less than or equal to 8. For the second one, for green wool, it is 0x plus 2y plus 5z. 0x plus 2y plus 5z is less than or equal to 10. That is 2y plus 5z is less than or equal to 10. And the for third one, blue. Blue wool, it is 3x plus 2y plus 4z is less than or equal to 15 is less than or equal to 15. So 8, 10 and 15. So these are the objective functions. So subjected to constraints, sorry, these are the constraints. And the non-negative restrictions, non-negative restrictions are x is greater than or equal to 0, y is greater than or equal to 0 and z is greater than or equal to 0. This is a required LP. Now put it in the form of a mathematical step. That's it. Okay. Hope you follow. Let me explain once again. See what is the problem given. So, a firm produces three types of cloths A, B, C and uh, these are the three types of cloths A, B, C and so the quality of wool are red, green and blue. The maximum availability of the quantity of wool is 8, 10 and uh, 15 and the income 
after uh, after the income the profit is rupees 3 for the product a for the cloth a and b for the class b and uh, c is rupees 4 so now the how to form this let us define the decision variables as x y and z x y and z are the decision variable since the profit for the product a b and c are given to be 3 5 and 4 so therefore the profit P is equal to 3x plus 5y, 3x plus 5y plus 4z. And uh, since the problem is the maximization, here the maximum profit is to be obtained. So you are going to get the maximum profit. So therefore, the objective function is maximum of P is equal to 3x plus 5y plus 4z. Subjected to the constraints for red, for red, red wool, what is given? 2x plus 3y plus 0z is less than or equal to 8 and therefore 2x plus 3y is less than or equal to 8 and for the green it is 0x plus 2y plus 5z is less than or equal to 10 therefore 2x plus 5y is less than or equal to 10 and for the blue it is 3x plus 2y plus 4z is less than or equal to 15. So the non-negative restrictions are x is greater than or equal to 0 and y is greater than or equal to 0 and z is greater than or equal to 0. Therefore the required LP model is therefore the required LP model is first what is this maximum P max P maximum of P is equal to maximum of P is equal to 3x plus 5y 3x plus 5y plus 4z max P is equal to 3x plus 5y plus 4z subjected to subjected to the constraints what are the constraints first 2x plus 3y is less than or equal to 8. Second one, 2y plus 5z is less than or equal to 10. And the third one, 3x plus 2y plus 4z is less than or equal to 15. And the non-negative restrictions, x is greater than or equal to 0, y is greater than or equal to 0, and z is greater than or equal to See, this is the required LP model for the given problem. So if you do this much, you will get 7 or 8 marks. That's it. Okay. This is very simple. Hope you followed this. Now, let us discuss uh, another type of problems. So same formation of an LPP problem. Now let us come to the next diet problem. So in diet problems, they may give vitamins, vitamins or the food. What are the types of foods or the vitamins availability. So based on that we are going to form a LPP model. Now, so one of the interesting problems in linear programming and that of the balanced diet. So that means a dietitian tells us that a balanced diet must contain quantity of uh, nutrients such as calories, minerals, vitamins, etc. Suppose that we are asked to find out the food that should be recommended from a large number of alternative sources of these nutrients so that the total cost of the food satisfying the minimum requirements of the balanced diet in, is the lowest okay so to get the balanced diet and the total the total cost of food satisfying the minimum requirement to get the balanced diet the medical experts and the dietitians tells us that is it is necessary for an adult to consume. Now, let us come to the problem. I will go to the problem. This is the problem. Now, what is the problem here? The medical experts, let us discuss one diet problem. The medical experts and the dietitians tells that it is necessary for an adult to consume at least 75 grams of proteins. How many grams of protein? 75 grams of protein, 85 grams of fats and 300 grams of carbohydrates daily. So a dietitian advises, advises to take for an adult to consume 75 grams of proteins, 85 grams of fats and 300 grams of carbohydrates. The following table, there is a table, gives the food items which are readily available in the market. Analyze and uh, analyze and their respective cost formulate an LP model. What is the problem given? So this is the problem given. So what is the table? There are six types of foods. So there are one, two, three, four, five, six types of foods are available. The food value per 
100 grams in terms of grams is given. So proteins, fats and uh, carbohydrates and the cost per kg, the cost is given. These are the cost is given. Now, what are the food types? There are six types of food, one, two, three, four. Let us define these types of foods as the decision variables, x1, x2, x3, x4. Let us define the decision variables as x1, x2, x3, x4, x5 and x6. So minimum daily requirement is for proteins. Proteins is 80, 75 grams and fats, 85 grams and the carbohydrate is 300 grams. Now what is the availability? The proteins for X1 is 8, fats is 1.5 and the carbohydrate is uh, 3.5. Cost per unit is 1, 2, 4, 2, 1.5, 300 for the type of foods 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Now since here it is cost is given, the objective function is to maximize the maximize so here it is again a maximization problem, okay. Now let us define the decision variables. Let the decision variables are, let us define x1, x2, x3, x4, x5 and x6 are the decision variables. Let us define the decision variables. So these are the food types used per day, defined as the decision variables. Now what is given? The total cost of the diet is given. So the total cost, total cost of the diet, the total cost of the diet is given. What is the total cost? P is equal to, this is x1, x1 plus 3x2, okay, plus 4x3 plus 2x4 plus 1.5, 1.5x5 plus 3x6. This is the total cost. Since what is to be determined here is the maximum. So what is to require, what is to determine? So the following table gives the food items. Analyze and their respective cost formulate. So maximum cost is to be determined. So therefore the objective function is the objective function maximum of P is equal to the intention is to maximize the maximum P is equal to x1 plus 3x2 plus 4x3 plus 2x4 plus 1.5x5 plus 3x6. This is the objective function. Okay. Hence the objective function, the objective function is max P is equal to, so maximum of P is equal to x1 plus 3x2 plus 4x2, 4x3 plus 2x4 plus 1.5 x5 plus 3 x6. Now subjected to the constraints for proteins the maximum available minimum daily requirement is 75. For fat it is 85 and the carbohydrate it is 300. So therefore for proteins this can be written as 8 x1 plus 18 x2 plus 16 x3 plus 4 x4 plus 5 x5 plus 2.x6 is less than or equal to 75 for the proteins. Now the second for fats it is 1.5x1 plus 15x2 plus 4x3 plus 20x4 plus 8x5 is less than or equal to 85. And similarly for the carbohydrates 35x1 plus 7x3 plus 2.5x4 plus 40x5 plus 25x6 is less than or equal to 300. These are the constraints, okay. Now let us put it in the form of a mathematical equation, okay. Subjected to the constraints for proteins, it is 8, 8x1 plus 18x2, 18x2, 16 and 4 plus 16x3 plus 4x4, 4x4. 5 and 2.5, 5 x 5 plus 2.5 x 6 is less than or equal to, what is less than or equal to 75. This is the first thing, okay. Similarly, for the food, for fats, how to write? 1.5, 15, 1.5 x 1 plus 15 x 2 plus 4 x 3 plus 20 x 4, 20 x 4, 8 x 5 
8 x pi. So, here it is not there 0 and the maximum availability is 85 grams. So, that is less than or equal to 85. Now, for next third kind is for carbohydrates 1 that is x1 plus 3 x2 x1 plus 3 x2 plus 4 x2 4 x3 plus 2 x4 4 x3 plus 2 x4 plus plus 1.5 and 3 1.5 x5 plus 3 x to the power of 6 is less than or equal to the maximum availability is 300 grams. So, this is the mathematical sub subjected to the non-negative restrictions non-negative restrictions non-negative restrictions ok. Now, the non-negative restrictions are non-negative restrictions are x1 is greater than or equal to 0 the non-negative negative restrictions are the non-negative restrictions are x1 is greater than or equal to 0, x2 is greater than or equal to 0. Since there are 6 decision variables, x3 is also greater than or equal to 0, x4 is greater than or equal to 0, x5 is greater than or equal to 0 and x6 is greater than or equal to 0. This is how we are going to form a model. Therefore, the required LP model is max p is equal to maximum of p is equal to x1 plus x1 plus 3x2 plus 4x3 4x3 plus 2x raise x4 2x4 plus 1.5 1.5x5 plus 3x6 subjected to the constraint subjected to the constraint subjected to the constraints the first one is 8x1 plus 18x2 plus 16x3 plus 4x4 plus 5x3 plus 2 point yes x5 this is x5 sorry x5 plus 2.5 x6 is less than or equal to 75. Next second one 1.5x1 plus 15x2 plus 4x3 plus 20x4 plus 8x5 is less than or equal to 85 and the last one for carbohydrate it is x1 plus 3x2 plus 4x3 plus 2x4 plus 1.5x5 plus 3x6 is less than or equal to 300 and the non-negative restrictions are non-negative restrictions x1 is greater than or equal to 0, x2 is greater than or equal to 0, x3 is greater than or equal to 0, comma, x4 is greater than or equal to 0, xy is greater than or equal to 0 and x6 is greater than or equal to 0. This is a required LP model for the given problem. That is it. Very important and very easy. Since there are 6 decision variables, we can use x1, x2, x3, x4, x5 and x6. The intention is to get the maximum p that is the objective function subjected to the constraints and the non-negative restriction x1 to x6 greater than or equal to 0. That is ok. Now, let us come to the next problem. The company has 3 operation departments. So, there are 3 operating departments. One is weaving, weaving, one department is weaving and the another one is the processing and the third one is the packing. So, a company has three, three operating department, there are three operation departments, one is weaving, another one is the processing and the third one is the packing, weaving, processing and packing with a capacity of, uh, with a capacity to produce three different types of claws. So, it will produce three different types of claws. They are shooting, shading and woolen. Shooting, shootings, shadings and woolens yielding the profit. Again, it is a profit. The objective function is the maximization, maximum P. So, yielding the rupees, profit of rupees 2 and 4 and 3. Rupees 3, 4 and 
three per meter respectively. One meter of shooting requires so first cap first product shooting requires three minutes three minutes in weaving, two minutes in processing, and one minute in packeting. That is in packing. So one meter of shooting requires four minutes in weaving. One minute in processing and three minutes in packeting. That is in packing. While one meter of woolen requires three meters in each department. So in a week, the total run time of each department is 60, 40, and 80 hours. The maximum availability of the time is given: 60 hours, 40 hours, and 80 hours for A, B, C of weaving, processing, and packing. Respectively, formulate this and LPP to get the maximum profit. This is the problem. So, very important problem and very easy problem. So, let us uh, formulate the table. Now, let us formulate the table. What are the products? So, there are uh, constraints in the resource. There are three types weaving department, processing department, and the packing department. The product is shooting, shedding, and woolen. So, the total availability of time in minutes is given. So that is, this table is also given, that is cons the resource available weaving department, processing department and uh, packeting department, that is packing department for shooting, weaving, shooting, shedding and woolen, these are the products and the total availability of the time in minutes. So 6 into 6, this is nothing but uh, 3600 minutes, this is 6 4 24, 2400 minutes, this is 3200 minutes these are the available time now how to formulate now let us uh, define the decision variables as a x y and z let us define let the decision variables are x y and z let us define the decision variables as x y and z now what is required to get is the profit what is the profit given here the profit is given to be what is the profit so the total run time is given and yes, the profit of rupees 2, 4 and 3 per meter respectively. So therefore, the profit per unit is given by P is equal to 2x plus 4y, 2x plus 4y plus 3z, 2x plus 4y plus 3z per meter. This is the profit given. So therefore, the profit P is equal to 2x plus 4y plus 3z. So let us define the decision variables as x, y and z for the three types of uh, products that is shooting, shatings and uh, woolen. So since the profit available, what is the profit available is rupees 2, rupees 4 and rupees 3 for shooting, shatting and woolen. So therefore, the profit is given by P is equal to 2x plus 4y plus 3z. So the objective function, therefore, the objective function is objective function. Since it is the maximization, you have to get the maximum profit. Therefore, the objective function is maximum P, max P is equal to 2x plus 4y plus 3z. Now, subjected to the constraints. What are the constraints? Now, subjected to the constraints. Now, first for weaving, subjected to the constraint for weaving, this is 3x, 4y, 3z. Again, this is 2x, 1y, 3z. Again, this is x, y, and z. And what is the condition? What is the maximum? The total availability of time in minute is less than or equal to. That's it. So, straight away, you can write the Constraint size 2x, 3x plus 4y plus 5z less than or equal to 3600, 2x plus y plus 3z less than or equal to 2400, x plus 3y plus 3z less than or equal to 3200. And non-negative restrictions are x is greater than or equal to 0, y is greater than or equal to 0, and z is greater than or equal to 0. That's it. Okay, let me put it in the mathematical forum. So, subjected to the constraints 3x plus 4y plus 3z for this is for weaving 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 department so it is 3x plus 4y 3x plus 4y plus 3z is less than or equal to how much it is 3600 for weaving now let us come to the second one is processing department 
for processing department it is 2x plus y plus 3z is less than or equal to 2400 and the third one is packing department x plus 3y packing department packing department x plus 3y plus 3z is less than or equal to x plus 3y plus 3z is less than or equal to 3200 and the non-negative the non-negative restrictions non-negative restrictions are x is greater than or equal to 0 y is greater than or equal to 0 and z is greater than or equal to 0. so this is the required entry so therefore this can be put in the forum therefore the required LP model is the required LP model is max P is equal to what is maximum P here? Max P is equal to 2x plus 4y plus 3z. 2x plus 4y plus 3z subjected to the constraints. Subjected to the constraints. The first one is 3x plus 4y plus 3z is less than or equal to 3600. Second for, for processing department, this is 2x plus y plus 3z is less than or equal to 2400. For packing department, it is x plus 3y plus 3z is less than or equal to 3200. Subjected to the non-negative restrictions and the non-negative restrictions, x is greater than or equal to 0, y is greater than or equal to 0 and z is greater than or equal to 0. So, this is the required LP model for the given statement. That is it. Hope you followed this. These are a few examples to forum and LP model. So, in the examination, you may get one question for the for a 7 or 8 months to forum an LPP problem. This is a must question okay, and very easy. So, just define the decision variables as x, y, z or x1, x2, x3 depending upon the given statement and uh, just uh, subject it to the constant, make a list of the, all the constants in the mathematical forum and uh, put the non-negative restrictions and uh, you are going to get the required LP model. Hope you followed this, that is all. There is a small change, this is not uh, 3, this is, let me explain once again. So, yeah, this is uh, uh, 4800, so, 4800. So, the packing department, it is 3x plus 3y plus 4z is less than or equal to 4800, not 3200, just make a correction. So, the objective function and the now subjected to the restrictions, the last one is x plus, x plus 3y plus 3z is less than or equal to 4800 and the non-negative restriction x is greater than or equal to 0 y is greater than or equal to 0 and z is greater than or equal to 0. This is the required LP model. Okay. So, there is a small correction, not 3200 is 4800, correct it. Now, let us come to the next, what is the application of linear programming problem? This is very important. What are the applications of a linear programming problem? We have so many applications, suppose consider the personal assignment problem. So, in personal assignment problem, suppose if x number of workers have to perform y number of jobs, suppose if x number of persons has to perform y number of jobs, an assignment of each person to a job has to be done such that the overall productivity is optimized, here it may be maximized and whether it may, it whether it be minimum cost or minimum time taken or maximum profit. To get the maximum profit with minimum expenditure, with minimum time and minimum availability of the resources, to get the maximum profit, we are using the concept of a linear programming problem. This is one of the important applications. So, to perform x number of, uh, to perform the x number of workers has to be perform y number of jobs for assignment to assign to get the maximum profit with minimum cost or minimum time taken and to get the maximum profit. 
Now, the second important uh, application of the linear programming problem is in the transportation problem. In transportation problem, this helps to minimize the cost, minimizing the cost of transport between the sources and the delivery point. This is very important application. In the transportation problem, we are using the concept of uh, linear programming that is in minimizing the cost of the transport to minimize the cost of the transport between the source and the delivery point from source to the from the factory to the delivery point to get the minimum cost of the transport we are using the transportation problem now next optimum estimation of the employees so the optimum estimation of the employees compensation that is the objective object here is to determine the consistent plan of the employee's compensation. That is the consistent plan of the employee's co compensation by taking it into the consideration, the account of salary, the job, ranking, and the performance. By keeping in mind the performance, job ranking, and their account salary. So to determine the consistent plan of an employee, we are using this linear programming method. Now, another important is the production management. In production management, linear programming can be applied to determine the product mix, the product mix and assembly time balancing. So, to mix the product as well as to balance the assembly, we are using this in production management. So, and the final one is marketing management. In marketing management also we are using linear programming problem to analyze in helping analyze the effectiveness of advertising campaigns, advertisement department. So to advertise the campaigns and time based on the available advertising media, it also helps to sell, helps a salesperson to find the short route while traveling. So the salesperson to get the shortest distance while traveling we are using the concept of a linear programming also in the department of uh, marketing it helps to analyze the effective advertising campaigns and also the time based on available advertising media and also the time taken to travel the shortest distance these are few advantages of a linear programming problem so this is very very important you may expect this for a uh, five marks. This is a five mark question. Five or seven mark you are going to get. So in the examination, they must. What are the advantages? What are the application of linear programming problems? What are the application of linear programming problems? So there are several application in personal assignment, transportation problem, optimum estimation of uh, employees compensation, and also in the production management, also in the marketing management. These are few. Uh, applications of a, a linear programming problem so in our daily life so that is uh, regarding the formation of a linear programming problem so far we have discussed regarding the formation of a linear programming problem what are the uses applications advantages disadvantages and the application of a linear programming problem okay now that's regarding today's session let us meet uh, with the solution of a linear programming problem in the next class so in the next class i am going to discuss regarding the solution of a linear programming problem by graphical method that's all that's regarding today's class thank you very much thank you